In this tutorial, I will show you a super easy way to call your C++ code from Python scripts. This solution will let you call your C++ functions, bridge your custom classes and enums to Python, and automatically translate standard library containers to their Python equivalents. So if that sounds interesting to you, remember to like and subscribe and let's begin. First, we need to create a virtual environment and activate it like this. The next step is to install PyBind 11. This lightweight Python library will bridge your C++ and Python code bases. To do this, you will need to create a PyBind module. For the sake of simplicity, let's assume you have a single function you need to use in your Python code. In this example, our function adds two integers, but in real life it may be as complex as you desire. To make it available to PyBind, we use the PyBind module macro. Simple module is the module name that will be visible on the Python side, and m is the module variable we set here in the C++ code. We call the dev function on the m object, binding the C++ function on the right to the Python function name on the left. And that's all for the C++ side. Now we need to build the C++ module. The easy way to do it is to use CMake. Here's the CMake list file for our project. We call Python from within the CMake script to get the exact location of the PyBind installation. The PyBind dir variable is then set to that location, ensuring find package has no problems locating the PyBind CMake package. After all this setup, we only have to call PyBind add module and this will build a library with our C++ code. The next commands are not strictly required, but will make our lives easier. Set target properties is basic CMake stuff. We need it to enforce a C++ standard for our code. If you need a newer version of C++, replace 11 with 17, 20 or 23. Here's a neat trick. We create the init.py file in the build directory. This makes Python treat the directory as a package, making our imports easier. We will see how this works in a moment. The last command is helpful for Windows when using the Visual Studio compiler. It copies the generated library from the debug or release folder back to the build folder, ensuring that the compiled extension is easily accessible for import from Python. And finally, the Python script. Thanks to the init.py file, we can use the dot syntax to import our C++ module from the build directory and then call the C++ function using the name we provided in our pybind wrapper file. To run the script, we need to build the C++ library first. This is the standard CMake stuff. Next, execute the Python script. As you can see, our C++ function is called without errors. But that's not all. PyBind also supports bridging the standard library containers to the Python collections. In this example, we generate a vector of random integers in C++. In the Python script, we call the C++ function just like before, and our vector is seamlessly converted to the Python list, as you can see in the script's output. You will often need to use more than just functions. This example contains a C++ enum, and a class with some member variables and a member function. Mapping these constructs involves more code, but is still quite straightforward. To map enums, we need to provide all the enumerations and then call export values. For classes, we use dev to define the constructor and functions, and dev read write or dev read only for member variables. And that's it. After the mapping is complete, we can use these constructs just like native Python types. Thanks for watching.